Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma for those of you who are new here and today we are back with another Sims 4 speed build. Before we get into talking about the build, I want to address a few things. Um, first of all, I'm sorry that you didn't get to see me build the shell of the house. Um, for some weird reason, my recording software has been acting up lately, so the beginning, was, it recorded it very choppy, and I didn't feel like you would want to sit through three to five, maybe ten minutes of that size. I stopped a lot and I paused um, because I was looking off of a picture to build this because our theme this week is Real to Sim. So I took a real house. A picture that I have found online and I built it in The Sims. It is a modern farmhouse for a big family. It has four bedrooms and five bathrooms, a study, two living rooms, one kitchen, and a dining shared. And it has a bedroom for twin kids and a teen, a guest bedroom, and a bedroom for a set of parents. So it's a big house and it did take me a long time to do. Um, I got stopped a lot. So I had to edit about like, I don't know, four to five different um, videos. And after this first part, when it um, goes into the new, the second time I was filming this, um, it'll be running a bit smoother. Like I said, my recording software was is being a bit choppy like it is right now. It's just for a couple of more minutes, so just try and deal with it. Um, I promise the rest of the video, though, it's fine. I looked through it. I watched over it. It's It should be fine. Um, I was messing around with my settings for my OBS recording software and so that I could record The Sims 3. And for some weird reason, my OBS has just been starting recording everything buggy and choppy. So until I fix that, this is just, you know, what it's going to be. See, everything now is is fine. Everything's fine now. So from this point on, it should be A-OK. -okay. Um, but yeah, it was just so weird. I don't know why it's doing that. I really couldn't tell you. Um... I hope, though, I hope it's fine considering it recorded, like, three videos perfectly uh, after the first one. Also, if you heard that, like, thing, that was me opening up some Sprite. Um, my throat has been a bit sore. Um, I also want to apologize for last week. I only uploaded it one speed build, and that was due to uh, last week I had... A bunch of, was it last week or was it the week? I think I didn't record for two weeks. One being I got my second thing of COVID shot, my second vaccine, and that put me out for a couple days. It was so bad, I it made me cry. <laughs> it, it made me cry. It, it was bad. It was bad. My mom and my big sister got theirs today, so they're... Not today, yesterday, so they're not feeling too hot either. So I feel so bad because I know how sucky it is. But yeah, so that put me out for a couple days. And then my soon-to-be brother-in-law who lives with us, his appendix erupted, uh, bursted, causing a abscess to grow. And so... Uh, he went to the hospital, and that mixed with three finals two finals last week um, kind of sprung up on me. So that's why I didn't upload last week any. And um, other than, you know, that one speed build and the one Sims 3 Legacy Challenge, which were pre-recorded, uh, which I, I think... I will be doing The Sims 3 more. I just, like I said, I'm trying to work with my settings on OBS. And I don't think I'm going to touch it anymore because I don't like that it, it makes my videos choppy. So hopefully 
if these settings work for The Sims 4, that will be fine. I might not do Sims 3 anymore. <laughs> might just stick to The Sims 4 and Sims 4 builds. But yeah. It's so weird because the first Sims 3 video I recorded, it worked perfectly fine until I messed with the settings. And I was like, aw, oh, really? But, um, as I was saying, um, so he's fine now. My soon-to-be brother-in-law, he's fine now. He's back home, so he's back from the hospital. And they're still draining the abscess. He has a uh, drain into his stomach, and they're draining the abscess. I don't know if he's going to have to have surgery or not. Um, he's quite young, so I don't know if they're even going to do it. But um, hopefully he'll be okay. Hopefully it doesn't like get worse or anything. He seems to be doing pretty good since he got back. So we all thought he had a stomach bug for like a week. <laughs> but you know. Um, also, if you hear anything in the background, that is my hamster. Uh, Tipsy is awake, so she's running on her wheel. She's not on it right now, but she was on it. She's back on it right now. <laughs> so if you hear that, that's what that is. She's on her wheel. Um, so I had like three finals last week, which is weird because I was only supposed to have one my science final. But my history teacher, he texted me and he's like, hey, you need to have this a month's work of work done by, the, by tomorrow, 1 p.m. And it was like, why? I'm not, he's like, because I need to have it, your grades in, your final grades in for the seniors. And it's like, I'm, I'm, well, I mean, I'm technically a senior, but I'm tec technically not a senior because I'm purposely being held back this year. So I'm not graduating till next year because I'm trying to get my GPA up. And so I was trying to explain that to him and he wouldn't listen and so he's like, you need to have this done. If you want, I'm free between 1, I'm free between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. And I can help you do your work. And because my soon-to-be uh, brother-in-law went to the hospital, I didn't see that email till like 5 o'clock in the morning. And it's like, really? Like, I couldn't sleep at all because I was just, I, it was just one of those sleepless nights. And I decided to check my email. I was like, really? Really? So I had, I stayed up the rest of the, um, technically night. And I, I worked all day. <laughs> and I managed to get all of the work done. And then I had to take my final, which I didn't get to study for. And then after I did that, the same day, the same day, like I did not even get a nap in before my geometry teacher decided to call me up and be like, hey, you need to get this done. It's like, why do you guys keep on thinking I'm supposed to be graduating? I'm not graduating this year. And I, I feel so bad for my geometry teacher because I freaked him out. I think because I had a minor breakdown on the phone while I was talking to him, okay? But in my defense, I don't do well under pressure. And that was pressure. They were pressuring me. Like to get a month's work of work done for multiple classes before Friday. And it was Tuesday. It was Tuesday and I was, I was crying. I was crying so bad. Like, <laughs> I was just not having it. And he, he apologized and stuff. And, and he talked to my guidance counselor. My guidance counselor talked to him about what we agreed on. And he's like, okay, yeah, you're right. You have your two weeks left. Just chill out. Calm down. It's okay. I'm so sorry for upsetting you. And it's like, <laughs> no, it's okay. And so that happened. Thankfully, I didn't have to do that. So I did have to do my algebra one because she she texted me. She texted me, not emailed me. She texted me uh, last, not last week, but the week before last week. It's asking me to do my final. But like I said, I had the COVID vaccine. So it kind of put me down for a couple days. And so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll try to do it this weekend. I didn't do it the weekend. So I did it Monday 
And then Tuesday, I obviously had my history thing. And then, you know, my breakdown on the phone with my geometry teacher. <laughs> and then Friday, I had my science final, which was the only one that I was um, prepared for. So... That one I didn't do too bad on. The history one I did A-OK -okay on. I got a 98 on my history. I got a 98 on my science. And I got a 78 on my algebra. I am not too good at math. I am not. That's not my strong suit. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it was a hectic week last week. And uh, the only thing that I have this week is a dentist appointment. So... Everything should be okay. Uh, I shouldn't, you know, be gone. And since I only have two classes to do a day now, I'll be, I'll have like two hours of schoolwork to do and then I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I don't have anything. Um, the week after this week, so, um, 24 through 29th or 30th, 30. 31, the 30, the 31st, um, I will be, I won't be uploading quite as much because then I have the rest of my finals and my geometry EOC to do, so those, there's going to be a lot of just me focusing on school and I hope you guys will be a-okay with that. Um, so I'm just doing the inside of the build. The outside, I didn't film the backyard, and I didn't film the bathrooms, or changing out most of the lights, or putting lights on the outside, because, um, I don't know why I'm paused right here. <laughs> I think I was, oh yeah, I was taking pictures. I was taking pictures of the floor plan and mapping it out on my phone so I didn't forget what it was, because like I said, I had a lot of people interrupting me. So I had to record like multiple like ses sessions of this, which I just wanted a picture reference so that I didn't forget. But as I was saying, um, I didn't record those things on camera because it was already like six hours of footage I had to edit down. So I decided to make it a little bit easier on myself and just nix those things. Like just, I still did them. I just didn't do them on camera. I did them off of camera, <laughs> but I do have the screenshots in, so you can get, be able to see all the nice things, and I think near the end of the video, when I do, because I did, I, I did those things before I recorded the last part of this video of, you know, like, the bedrooms, I saved all the bedrooms for last, so you'll, you'll see, like, the, the backyard just magically appear <laughs> and be finished, so and the bathrooms, and a lot of the lights change, so, uh, this was a very big build, but sometimes, you know what, a big build is exactly what the doctor ordered, um, I tr I went into this being like, okay, I am not going, I am not going to clutter, and you know what I did, I cluttered, not overly cluttered like I do in my my tiny homes, but I still cluttered a little bit too much than what I originally planned for. <laughs> so, but I like how this turned out. I actually plan on playing in this house on my own time. It's very pretty. Um, I like how it turned out, and I normally don't do this style of house or this style of, like, gardening, like, you know, the landscaping. So, I had fun experimenting and playing around with it, and I was looking off of a picture. I didn't get to see the floor plan or the backyard, so this was literally all I could do. The only thing that I tried to do was the outside, the boxes and everything, and the windows and doors. The landscaping was all me. <laughs> The, um, there's this one fancy bush, like, or tree, shaped tree outside, and when I first saw it, I was like, I have to use this, and I was so determined to use it. I'm really happy that I managed to find a place for it. <laughs> At first, when I went into this, I was using very light wood tones because this is a farmhouse, so everything kind of did blend into the floor, 
And then that eventually turned into black and white themed. <laughs> so there's there's a few mitch, mix matchy things in here, but I think that everything really ties in well. Like I said, I normally don't do modern stuff because I don't really know the meaning of it. Um, I didn't know the meaning of it till uh, I literally had to ask my mom. I was like, what does modern mean? And she's like, uh, it's empty and white. White and black, plain collars, and empty. Very empty. Like when you stage a house to be bought, that's what you're going for. I'm like, okay, thank you. Uh, I did not know that. And so I kind of figured like a farm, a farmhouse modern, like a modern farmhouse would be the same thing, but uh, I couldn't help myself. Okay, it's been like two weeks since I built something. I couldn't help myself. So I did that. And, um, let's see. The teens room? Okay, I'm gonna talk about this. I know it's like a long way before I get the t to the teen room, but the teen room is hardly decorated. And I'll tell you this. I'll tell you why. Because in my mind, the teen was already gone and is at university and my thing froze. I really hope it's fine. Okay, it unfroze. It unfroze and the time... Okay, anyways, but in my mind the teen was like away at university. So that's why the teen's room is, you know, empty-ish. So, that's why. Also, I do apologize if you can hear my hamster in the background, but she loves her wheel and that's the only, like, thing she can do to relieve energy. I've had her for two weeks, okay? I've had her for, like, two weeks and she's getting so used to my hand. Like, I put food on my hand. Like, she's starting to associate my hand with food and so, I when I was putting in my hand to give her some treats because she was up and I wanted to, you know, hold my hold, hold her and stuff. She ran towards my hand when my hand was going into the cage. She's she, it's like she instantly knew I had food and she, like it it was so cute. Okay, she's a robo dwarf hamster and so she has like this mustache and she's so small, she's so skittish. And I've been trying everything to get her used to me. I've been singing to her, reading to her. I've been, you know, talking to her. I've been doing the bath bonding stuff. You know, I, I've been doing everything. And my hamster isn't stupid, okay? She's highly intelligent. I used to be able to get her out of her enclosure with the cup method right, where you put in the cup, they get curious about the cup, so they go in to investigate the cup, and then you can pick them up and, you know, take them out of their cage with the cup, and then, you know, put them onto your hand that way. She is clever. She will not go into the mug anymore, okay? A mug, a thermos, a bottle, it doesn't matter what it is, she will not go into it. And since she won't, like, go onto my hand sometimes... Um, she's getting better at that, but because she's still scared of my hands, she doesn't go towards my hands very much, unless she can smell the food and if she's hungry. So, which is why I mostly, like, put my hands in there when she first wakes up, because that's when she's hungry, and, you know, before she can get to her food bowl, I, like, put some treats on my hands, stick my hand in there. But, she, um... She got so she got so smart, and I I have to clean out her enclosure, right? I have to spot clean like once a week, and um, then once a month I have to like empty out her entire bedding. So I was spot cleaning, and I needed to get her out of the cage, out of her enclosure, because I needed to go through her burrows and get all the food that she stored, clean up her droppings, you know, take out the bad bedding that's been peed on. You know, the bedding that collects the water from her water bottle because it, it drips. Dripping is a good thing. If it doesn't drip, then it doesn't work. Make sure you you guys who own hamsters, make sure your water bottle is dripping so that you know that they can get water and water is coming out of it. 
but um so I have to like get that stuff out and then put more bedding in there and to compensate for the bedding that I took out and so I needed to get her out of the enclosure and she wouldn't come onto my hand because she I painted my fingernails and so the fingernail polish smell freaked her out so she wouldn't go onto my hand <laughs> oh, because of the fingernail polish smell still lingering on my hands. She wouldn't eat the treats off of my hand because, again, fingernail polish. She wouldn't go into the mug. So I had no other choice but um, to get her into one of her tubes that lets her go up to her food or up to her wheel on, like, another, like, little level thing. And I had to cover up both entrances with my hands, detach the tube from the platform, and then r take it out, put her onto my hand, put her into a big spacious box with a few little of her hamster toys in there to entertain her while I was cleaning out her thing. It was, it was just a hassle. And then after I did that, she was so scared to go up into her tube to go get to her food bowl because she thought I was going to trap her again. And it was like, oh my God, I literally had to pick her up and put her up at the top of her food bowl. Oh, it was just, it was a struggle. <laughs> it was a struggle. She's fine now. That was like... Four days ago but Jesus my I did not expect for her to like not like the mug <laughs> like if you're scared of my hands then why aren't why don't you like the mug better it's just ugh. and I caught my cat on the hamsters enclosure like on the top of it on the roof of it oh I I got so mad at my cat <laughs> it's like, if you eat that hamster, that's the jailbreaker. You're gone. <laughs> but yeah, it was just, it was, oh, it was terrible. It was terrible. Like, I love my cat and I love, I love my hamster. I'm so attached to both of them. My cat I've had for five years. She turns, we celebrate her fifth, sixth birthday sixth birthday yeah her sixth birthday because i got her in 2015 that's when she was born and it's 2021 so we celebrate her sixth birthday on july 11 11th and um so i've had her for six years technically and uh like I'm, I'm really attached to her, but if she eats my hamster and leaves it for me as a present, like she did with a mouse, I'm going to flip out. I, for one, I'm going to be disgusted. For two, I'm going to cry over the loss of my new companion, who I just got. For three, I'm going to be sad because I'm going to give away my cat. <laughs> like she. Okay, and we used to live in Colorado, right, before, like, last year I moved down back here to Florida. And so, we used to get mice all the time in Florida. I mean, not Florida, in Colorado. In Colorado, we'd get mice all the time. And my cat, she likes to hunt things. Like, she's not lazy like I want her to be. <laughs> she's very active. And so, she would hunt the mice. And one day, I walked into my room, and I stepped on something hard underneath my rug. I flipped the rug rug so I could see what was underneath it. It was a dead mouse that was missing two of its feet, part of its tail, part of its ear, and soaking wet because she drowned it in her water dish like she does her toys. So... That was an un that was not a very exciting gift she decided to give me. I don't know I don't I know that's like a sign of like affection and everything, but why? Why do you have to give me dead things? <laughs> like I don't I don't want that. Okay? I don't want that. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, uh, and 
to have to step on it, oh my god, I, it's, oh, so, yeah, she's been obsessed with the hamster ever since my mom surprised me with the hamster, which is exhausting for me because I can't, like, get a good night's sleep because I have to wake myself up multiple times throughout the night to make sure my cat's not anywhere near the hamster's enclosure and it's not trying to kill the hamster. It's, it's a bit exhausting. <laughs> but, yeah. So, <laughs> that's what I've been doing. <sighs> I have to say, I cannot wait till the school year is over. Like, I cannot wait. Although, I'm not, I'm not sure how much fun I'm going to have this summer because I'm going to start working. You know, because money. Although I don't have to. My mom says that I don't have to. But I want to because I want things. You know, there's things that I want to buy. Because, you know, I'll be 18 and I'll be illegal. It'll be legal for me to buy certain things. I could go out to movies by myself. You know, I could Uber myself. You know, I, I could have money to go out and do things, you know by myself <laughs> or you know you know make some friends go out to the movies with some friends you know that that would be fun i am homeschooled so i do school online so i don't know anybody here <laughs> i'm very I'm a, I'm a little bit lonely oh this is at the end of one of the things i was um i decided to save and then I was like, you know what? Nah. Because my dad was hollering at me to go eat. And he was like, he was hollering loudly. And so I was like, you know what? No. No. You guys said to make a sign and put it on my door for when I'm recording. If you guys don't have the decency to go look and see if I have a sign on my door and abide by the sign, then no. No, no, no. Mm -mm. I am, I'm not, I'm not, I'll eat when I'm done. <laughs> I'll eat when I'm done. So I did take a break and I did go and eat uh, after I did a couple more rooms. I think after this one and this and the living room. But yeah, it was just. I'm sorry, but I I know like. I know like that he didn't know and stuff, but like, you can easily go and look at my door, okay. It's a sign. You said to make a sign so that everybody knows to leave me alone when I'm recording. I'm like, that's exactly what I did. I can't record very well at night because the hamster. I can't record during the day because everybody needs me. Like, listen to, read the sign. <laughs> Take an account to the sign. Like, if you guys had a sign on your door saying, leave you alone, I'd do it. I'd leave you alone. <laughs> but yeah, I know he didn't know because he was fixing dinner and so he like, he didn't go and read it. My little sister, however, she went to go and um, get me basically for him because he kept on hollering and she saw the sign. And so my sign says recording in progress. If you need me. Text me. Thanks. Smiley face. And so she texted me. A very nice message, by the way. And she's like, I know you're recording. Your dinner's out here when you're done. I'm sorry he's hollering. I hope he didn't ruin your recording. It's like, oh, he didn't. I'm doing a speed build. My, mute, my mic is muted. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And thank you. I'll come eat here in a second. And so... It was just, I don't know, <laughs> after him not listening to the sign, and then her li listening to the sign, it made it made me happy that someone listened to the sign, okay? Nobody listens to my sign, and it upsets me, but she listened to my sign, which makes me happy. <laughs> I know I've spent this entire video just rambling about who knows what, but... For one, I don't think I need to explain the build. Like, I don't know how to explain the build. Um, 
This is a home office. It has chairs pointing to the desk. I thought it looked nice, so I put it there. <laughs> like, th that's, that's what you're gonna get. Like, I explained all I needed to explain in the beginning of the video, okay? <laughs> now I'm just rambling to you guys because I have a week's worth of stuff to talk about. Okay? A week's worth of stuff to talk about. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so if you guys watched my Sims 3, uh, Legacy Episode 1, you, uh, okay, first of all, that wasn't my game. My game did not lag the entire time I recorded. The entire, like, 45 minutes I recorded, it did not lag. That was my OBS recording software. So, like you saw in this beginning, um, couple, like, two minutes of this video, it was choppy, right? Yeah, so it was like that on The Sims 3, but worse. So I uploaded it anyways. I do apologize if that annoyed you any. Again, I am trying to fix my stuff. My... I don't know why, but it... It just, it didn't do so well, and I don't... I don't know what's wrong with it, but... I won't record The Sims 3, and then the... The beginning of this video, it recorded it weirdly, but the rest of the time, the, the other four videos of this one video <laughs> that I recorded, smooth, smooth as butter, okay? <laughs> Which is why I'm just, I don't know what's wrong with it, but if I touch any of the settings, then for like the first like a few videos, it's, it's, it's choppy, and I don't know why. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> but hopefully that won't happen anymore. Um, I really don't like that it happens. And I'm not so good with tech and computer stuff, so I really don't know how to fix it when that happens, or what to do when that happens. So, pretty much just like I did when I was doing this video, is I just kept recording. I was like, you know what? Eventually, it will stop recording choppy and record smoothly like it did when I recorded the Sims 4 Legacy Challenge, remember? The first couple of videos of that, it was choppy. And um, it sorted itself out without me having to do anything, so... Hopefully, it'll do the same thing with The Sims 3. I'm still going to record The Sims 3. You guys don't have to watch it if you don't want to. But, yeah. Hopefully, it'll sort itself out like it like it normally does. If you guys... I want, I, I want you guys to be honest with me. Do you like watching me build more than my Let's Plays? Because if you like watching me build, then I will strictly become a building channel. I have no problem doing that. I just, I want to know what you guys want to see and want to watch and will watch, you know, instead of, you know, because <laughs> I, I know me, I like to watch Let's Plays, but, you know, it has to be like the cer a certain person and a certain voice for me to sit there and listen to a Let's Play or watch a Let's Play. So, but build videos get me, like, I'm so like focused on them but just let me know what you guys think in the uh comments and we're getting down to the end of the video so i'm going to close things off here if you want my gallery's still not working so none of the speed builds are up there so sorry i'll keep you guys posted when it does happen if you want to go look at my other builds though that are not on camera um my gallery id is epoodle 27k and, um, yeah. <laughs> Once my gallery opens, I'll put all my speed builds on there. But till then, you know, sorry. Um, subscribe if you liked it. Um, comment down below if you want to see any more builds. Or just comment down below if you want to say anything. You guys make my day when you message. Like, it's, I like it. <laughs> And, um, yeah, so subscribe, hit the bell notification so you get all notifications of when I upload videos. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the screenshots. Bye-bye!